question that upset Mike Prokes over there, the point that was made over there, was that you were an elite, that you, you fellas had access to guns, that you had, you had a better life inside Jonestown, and that you could have saved people by going back. Well, we can't, what, we can't. You want thing? Wait huh? a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Stay with him. Hey, hey, this is this is all private. Okay, stay back. Just stay back. We want to look at it. No, I can't. I'm sorry, man. Come on. We're gonna be back with you in a This guy did this one thing. Until this thing happened, I was not really negative, right? I mean, I I disagree with a lot of stuff. But I was never, I mean, so much, you know, against it. When you were given guns and told to leave with the money, knowing what was happening behind you. To tell her why you were given the guns, what your instructions were. Instructions yeah. were to shoot ourselves if we were caught. With those instructions, knowing that you were armed and that other people were dying back there, did it ever occur to you to go back? No, not really, because I, I mean, at that point, I was thinking of living, and not, because I figured if I went back there, I would die. I think, I think place had the whole thing is so incredible. I know there's a lot of very rational questions that arise, but you have to remember there's very irrational circumstances, and sure. nothing that happened that day was normal. That's, I mean, so you don't, you don't go through a rational process. I mean, you can sit there and look back at a lot of things. I can sit back and look at, I could relive my whole life right now if I wanted. I can see a whole lot of things I should have done and could have done and everything else, but I can't because it's done and it's over with. And so here I am. The fact remains we ran for our lives. The place was surrounded. It had to be. But you claim you had no role in the actual deaths of other people. No, no because we didn't see it. At least I did. I had. He saw his child up, and wife up die. And, as far as I know, you know, up until the time we had left, I had heard of, I heard nothing about this, this insane stuff. You knew about the drills. Huh? Yeah, like I said, the last drill that I know of or was in was uh, May was it, 13th or something like that. Somebody said it all, when Debbie Layden had left, and that's the last one I know of. There might have been something in between. I don't know, but that's the last one I know. Of. And to me, it was just a psychological type of a thing. To me, it wasn't real. It was a psychological thing to see where the people's heads were at. Uh, was, to Jim test their resolve. was Jim Jones at that time already talking with you about the Soviet Union, about the panacea? No, at that time, no. no. What did he say about the Soviet Union? He talked about it in terms of being helping liberation movements like in South Africa, and he extolled it on the basis of that. And? Okay, the promised land? We, we gotta go. The promised land was Guyana. Yeah, the promised land was Guyana. I don't think anything was gonna happen. I, I know nothing's gonna happen because we're not gonna do anything. I don't think they're gonna do anything. We're just, I mean, everybody's tense. I think all people want to do is try to relax after a week of insanity. And that's all we want to do is relax. We haven't had a chance to relax yet. Some of the other people here are raising serious questions about how you could have left with guns and money. Given, I told you. It was given to us. We told everybody. And they don't have to believe it if they don't want to. It's the absolute facts. The man that we have, they've been investigating for a week, and we have been cleared of investigations, and that's as simple as that. I don't know why I was picked. Again, the reason, I mean, I it wouldn't make any sense that if, if we were here to do what they said that we were going to do, that we would have, you know, turned everything over and turned ourselves I mean, in. I mean, it doesn't even make any sense. I mean, like, the the point of us having a gun, it was me and my folks were the ones who had the guns, um, was to kill ourselves if we were caught. And you can, it's, it's in, I don't know if it's in police record, it's in my statement that when I. When we were, you know, in Kaituma at the police station, my gun that I had in my possession had three of the bullets out and two of the bullets in. And I mean, if I would shot it, it would not have hurt myself or anyone else. You see? I mean, like, I haven't shot a gun since I was in the sixth grade. I have no idea, you know, on any of the, you know, things. I mean, we. 
I, I am as afraid of them, I think, as they are afraid of me. I am afraid. Why would you want to kill yourself? Why would you carry we out the don't. mission? We That's don't. why we did At the time, why would you accept the mission to kill yourself because after making the delivery? If you did not know that the, sui we have the suicides... The, whole, we have the, the circumstances again out of the place. Again. You know what I'm Just to get out of the place. That was the, the condition under which you felt you could make your escape. That's that was the condition. I mean, it was it was we had we had been told to get out, and, and this was before any of this insanity had started. And just before we left, I had to see my wife and my son dead. Like I said, it's been I've said it I don't know how many times today, and I'm getting it's just it's getting tiresome to keep on saying it. And we had a way to get out, and we got out. And everything that we did, we have told everybody, we've told the police, we've told all the media, we have told everybody, we've made it a wide open book, and there hasn't been any question about it. And if we were trying to hide anything, I don't think we would be talking to every reporter that's ever come up to us, and, and the police and everything else. It doesn't make any sense. Who gave you the money? I didn't actually, I guess it was a woman named Maria Katsaris gave the suitcase to Crooks. She was the financial secretary for the church. Did it surprise you at all to realize how much money there was in the community? Very much. I had no idea. I had no idea. Tell us, you opened the suitcase at that point. This after we had left and after we had been running for some time. And what did you find? There was some money in some plastic bags. And a little bit of jewelry also. And the majority of it was money. Even a little bit of guy needs basically U.S. currency.